Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video I am going to talk about a trading strategy that is going to help you to identify stocks for positional trading. Uh, these are the stocks that have generally fallen around 30 to 40% from their recent highs and hence these stocks are not generally used for uh, momentum trading. Uh, this is purely a reversal trading strategy where we are going to use the 200 day exponential moving average to identify reversal in a trend of a stock. So what is the 200 day moving average? The 200 day moving average is a long term trend of a stock. Uh, so if uh, the 200 day moving average is trending up upwards then it is an uptrend, clearly an uptrend. If the 200 day moving average is trending downwards then it is known as a downtrend. And if the 200 day moving average is trending sideways, then it is known as a sideways zone. So whenever we are looking for stocks to uh, buy on the buy side, we are generally going to look for stocks that are in clear uptrend and not in downtrend or sideways zone. Let us go through how to apply the moving average indicator in TradingView platform. In the indicator section, type moving average and you can see moving average exponential as an inbuilt indicator click on that indicator and the default setting is 9 we will change that setting to 200 and change the color to black so we have now applied the exponential moving average in uh, trading view platform as you can see clearly the stock has taken resistance on the 200 ema while if we look on the uh, here the stock has taken multiple times of support in around June 2020. So, uh, the moving average indicator is a very important indicator. Whenever a stock price cr crosses its 200 day moving average, for example, if this is a moving average and if the stock price has crossed its 200 day moving average from below, now one can consider that the trend of a stock may have changed and can take a fresh entry into this stock. So, a stock above 200 EMA is considered to be bullish in the, its long term trend and if it is below 200 EMA, it is considered as bearish. A simple rule of not buying stocks below 200 EMA can save you a lot of money. One may consider investing in stocks that are below 200 EMA only if we are confirmed about the fundamentals of a stock. So why is the 200 day moving average an important moving average because people find or the investors find a 200 day moving average as a value buy for a particular stock as the stock price has corrected enough from its recent highs. Let us understand how a stock when closes above the 200 day EMA can give a phenomenal returns in a period of time. For example, in June 2020, when Amar Raja battery closed above 200 EMA, it gave a phenomenal return of around 59 or to 60 percent uh, before topping out. And in the same period, after a few months, when it broke the 200 EMA, it has given a negative return of 25 percent, while Nifty has given almost uh, 25 percent of positive returns in the same period. So one can also think in terms of whenever a stock is below the 200 day EMA, it is underperforming while the whenever the stock is above 200 EMA, it is outperforming. So one always needs to think in terms of the, a trend of a stock. If we are there on the right trend, then definitely uh, it will help you to identify better stocks. Now let us look at uh, what type of stocks that we have to trade during this strategy. We are looking for stocks that have run up decently in a period of time and are now consolidating in a bigger area and during this period the 200 day EMA will come upward slowly and try to give dynamic support to the stock in an uptrend. During this time the value investor or the uh, investors try to pick these stocks as they have corrected enough, enough from the 52 week high. So we are looking for a structure of a double bottom near the 200 day EMA as we don't want to enter into a stock that are give, that is giving us a false breakout. So a uh, pure example of that chart is uh, of Praj industry as we can see in this chart the stock has run up e decently after in a smaller period of time and is now seen consolidating in a, a tighter range. 
and we can see that the stock has run up too much on during what i have mentioned is during the first pullback you should never buy the stock and on this thing you can see the first pullback has occurred you should never buy during this pullback but rather wait for the second pullback to finish and hence enter into this stock similarly in other chart if we can see of balaji amines also in this chart never uh, buy on the first pullback and rather try to take an entry into the second pullback and keeping the stop loss below the 200 day moving average so this should be considered in while taking into a trade that your stop loss should always be around 5 to 7% below the 200 day moving average and a pullback of 5 to 7% has already occurred above the 200 day EMA so that we get a confirmation into that chart. Things to remember before entering into this uh, your your stop loss should always be below the 200 day moving average at around 5 to 7 percent from the moving average or if you also find that a stock has traded below the 200 day moving average for a significant amount of time then it is not advised to take an entry uh, as soon as it closes above the 200 day EMA so that you are not entering into stock that is trying to consolidate near the 200 day EMA. Now let, let us look at some charts where we can see that the 200 day EMA has got flattened up and the stock has taken a pullback on the moving average. As you can see that the stock you should never take an entry on the first pullback and rather try to take an entry in this. So in this case if we take an entry here it is providing us a very good risk to reward opportunity by, by keeping this as a stop loss and ent keep entering into this trade. It is purely a speculation in this term because we don't know whether the pullback is going to be successful or not but if we look at the risk to reward ratio we have a very small risk in this stock, in this stock and similarly if we look at the chart of tata consumer as you can see there was not a single pullback in this chart and uh, in this case there was a single pullback but there was no follow up buying in this chart so one may think of not buying into this rather one should think of shorting this stock other example of is of Navin Florin where you can see a double bottom in this chart and now the stock has moved up enough decently. Other example of this is you can see there was a first pullback in Alkyl Amine but there was no follow up of the pullback and the stock has traded below the 200 day moving average and finally it has broken out. So this it should now be considered as a fresh pullback and your fresh entry should now be taken near the 200 day moving average keeping this as a stop loss in this case because we can see a reversal has occurred twice from this area and now that is why we should keep this as a stop loss and not exactly below the 200 day moving average. In case of uh, Bhel, let us check the chart of Bhel. You can see that the stock closed above the 200 day moving average for the first time we should never buy the stock on the first pullback and rather buy on the second pullback right now we have taken an entry here keeping this as a stop loss taken an entry and obviously the target should be according to the stop loss so follow a minimum of risk to reward of 1 is to 2 in all your trades this is purely a positional type of trading and not swing trading or momentum trading because the stock is already in a sideways zone or uh, you can say uh, has fallen enough from the 52 week high so that it does not have a, uh, that momentum. In this case we can see this is the first pullback after the uh, re recent fall you should never buy on the first pullback and rather take an entry here. Now if you have taken an entry here your stop loss should be around this area and uh, be in this trade. Let me summarize the whole strategy in some simple words. All you have to look is for uh, stocks that are trading near the 200 day moving average and are trying to take support on the 200 EMA. Uh, this should be the ideal structure where the 200 day moving average is moving like this and the stock is trying to take support on the mo moving average for the first time. You don't have to buy on the first pullback and rather wait for a double bottom to form on the moving average and take an entry here keeping the stop loss below the moving average. 
okay so this is the uh, basic logic of the reversal trading on the 200 day exponential moving average this is a screener that i will be sharing in the com comment section uh, this screener will filter out stocks that have cr recently crossed the 200 day exponential moving average on the particular trading day i have used some simple uh, fundamental criteria like earnings per share increase for, from the past two quarters and roe and roc should be greater than number 15. one can disable this uh, settings if you don't want to consider the fundamental criteria of a stock and only want the technical criteria and hope you like the video and if you have any doubts kindly post in the comment section and i will get back to you thank you please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends if you find the strategy useful.